Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Tamriel and welcome to an episode on how to play Holy Paladin my way. Let's go ahead and start with some of the stats that I do for my Holy Pally. The stat priority for my way to play it is Intellect, so you can have beefy heals, Spirit, so you can gain some mana in battle and out of battle, and Crit. That's right, Crit. I understand some Paladins like to use Mastery or Haste. Uh, depending on what the playstyle is, but I prefer crit and that's because I don't concentrate much on hard cast I concentrate more on insta cast and I'll tell you exactly why I use crit in this video It's best I tell you about towns first before I cover my actual rotation of healing First sound for level 15 is long arm of the law, which long arm of the law is great for this kind of playstyle At level 30 I grab fist of justice also just preferential at level 45 I don't grab eternal flame and I don't grab sacred shield. No, no, no. I'll grab selfless healer why? I'll tell you exactly why. In Fatch 5.4, Selfless Hero got an extra buff for Holies. Judgment also generates a charge of Holy Power and Divine Light and Holy Radiance are also affected. Now you can probably see where I'm going at, I'm kind of trying to focus on Holy Power, but I'll tell you later in the video about the rotation, don't worry about that just yet. For level 60 I grab Hand of Purity Bow, so you can grab Clemency if you want to, depending on which one you prefer. I prefer to grab Hand of Purity because I can just put it on a tank and they'll be fine, especially the less gear tank or the tank that can take a little more damage. Uh, I've seen monks and bear druids take a little more damage compared to pallies, DKs or warriors. For level 75, divine purpose, but you can grab out of any out of those three. Holy Avengers is great, Sanctified Wrath is pretty great, but divine purpose is the, is the one I like the most so far. At level 90, I personally choose Light's Hammer compared to Holy Prism Execution Sentence. Light's Hammer is a great AoE, and Holy Palace do need some pretty good AoE that can just poop plant there on the ground, it will just heal. And while we're talking about talents, we might as well go ahead and cover glyphs. Uh, three glyphs that I grabbed are Glyph Protector of Innocent. When you use a Ward of Glory to heal another target, it also heals you with 20% of the amount. Then I also grabbed Glyph of Divine Plea. Divine Plea returns 50% less mana, but has a 50% shorter cooldown. And that's just something I prefer. You can grab whatever you want. And for my third glyph, I grab Beacon of Light, because sometimes you gotta switch Beacon of Light, or like it's like to say Bacon of Light, or just Bacon. Put up a Bacon on a tank, and if you need to swap to another tank, just put a Bacon on the other the tank and now it's off of cooldown so you can put it on anybody you can put it on yourself other healer one of the tanks bacon them if you need to you know just have fun baking the people all right let's go ahead and cover my rotation the reason why I chose selfless healer is because I am trying to focus mostly on very fast cast with huge increase in amount of health I can do at an instant rather than like over time or with hard cast so quickly heal somebody up the reason I stack Chris is because I try to concentrate on more Instacast and make sure that most of our major healing spells are Instacast. And Selfless Healer helps me build up Holy Power really, really fast in case I need to use it more. So I get to pop out Word of Glory and Light of Dawn extremely fast, and that is a huge advantage when it comes to healing extra allies other than the tank. Now, for my rotation, before you start off doing anything, first make sure you put up a buff, Blessing of Might or Blessing of Kings. Make sure you put Seal of Inside on yourself at all times, and make sure to bake in a tank. That's right, bake in a tank. Exactly, bacon one tank or bacon the other tank, bacon the tank that is less durable or has less health or worse gear or whatever. Just it's up to you who you want to bacon. Now, I also will include a macro for judgment that I'll include in here, but what you want to try to do is make sure to use Holy Shock and judgment as often as possible. And the thing is, if you use every single time you use judgment, it activates selfless healer. And Selfless Heal stacks up to three times, and by every single stack, it improves the effectiveness of a heal and reduces the cast time and the mana usage. So if you have three stacks of Selfless Healer, your heals are going to be A, real powerful, B, instant cast, C, will cost no mana. And that's the best part, that's the reason why I grab Selfless Healer. You want to make sure to Judgment as much as possible, and make sure to Holy Shock as much as possible. Whenever you build up Holy Power, use it for Word of Glory, or use it for Light of Dawn, depending if you do single target or AoE attack. If you grab Light's Hammer, make sure to drop that down in an AoE, and make sure to heal up all your friendlies, make sure they're all healed up. Every single time you Holy Shock, you have a chance to make your next heal out of Holy Light, Divine Plea, or Holy Radiance, cast a little faster, A, and B, get a little more healing. So if you have three stacks of Selfless Healer and that little passive buff from Holy Shock, that little proc from Holy Shock, then your next heal, no matter what it is, it's going to be extremely powerful. O but overall, this is a really fun spec to play. If you want to try this out, feel free to. I'll actually link my character below, and you can see all the stuff that I got, all the stats. 
and if you want to copy some of them, go for it. Give it a try. For the longest time, Holy Palace didn't really have high heels. So this one is just really fun to just mess around with something and find a really cool, fun, entertaining new way of playing a class that rather than just sitting there and just hard casting Holy Light. Because if you just sit there and hard cast Holy Light, yeah, sure you're healing several party members and you're just casting real fast if you stack haste. But with Crit and Judgment and Holy Shock, you'll be able to do so much critical healing and all your other spells will cost almost no mana. It's fantastic. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the basic healing guide for all the power and patch 5.4. My name is Tamriel and uh, have a great day. See you.